What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And this box just showed up to the front door and apparently it was from Xbox. So I think, based on what I'm seeing on YouTube, this is probably an Xbox One X. And if it is, I can't wait to crack into it. <laughs> okay, well they definitely have presentation going for them. Because uh, even the inside of this box has something going on. Can you... Can you see that? How cool is that? I don't even know what all this is yet. But, oh, apparently here's our little user manual. Welcome to the Xbox One. All of the cool stuff about the insides and what it does and how it can put out 4K native gaming at 60 frames per second because it is effectively the most powerful console ever made. Holy moly. Next layer has a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Uh, Planet Earth 2 in 4K. Uh, DVD, that is awesome. The last time we tested the Xbox One S, we actually had to go out and buy uh, a DVD in 4K. We went out and got the Revenant, so it was worth it. Here are some redemptions for C. Let's see, Dolby Atmos, EA Access, Spotify, Netflix, Xbox One Game Pass, that is awesome, and uh, Xbox Live Gold. So, wow, some of these are one month, some of these are three months? Man, I don't know if everybody that's getting an Xbox One X gets this, but thank you, Xbox, for the, the free months of stuff. I'll probably pass on the codes because I already, I already subscribed to pretty much everything uh, through the Xbox. Here is... Whoa! It's a code for Super Lucky's Tale, which I've already played. I played it in virtual reality on my Oculus Rift. Um, but I did not like it in VR at all whatsoever. Oh, also, apparently, Zoo Tycoon, because that is a game that you can play on the Xbox. What a weird code to give someone. How bizarre. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many games here. I can't believe, I don't want to accidentally show off the code, so I'm going to try really hard not to. Look at this. There is Battlefront. Uh, there's ReCore. There is uh, Shadow of War, Minecraft, Madden, Killer Instinct. Spotify, Netflix, every game and service, they have sent a code for either a free copy of it or... There's only a hundred games here. And I, I, I know the reason they did this is because these are all games that look better on the Xbox One X because they're up to 4K, 60 frames per second, stuff like that. I've never... I can't... Why? Why did you send me every game that you guys have? This is every game that's out so far this year. This is insane. I, I, I speech... Thank you, Xbox. Thank you. That's all I know to say. Thank you. That is... Ah! Okay. Well, you pro you will not get any of that. Sammy decided he wanted to be on camera, I guess. You, you will not get any of that when you order your Xbox One X. This is what you will get. Now, keep in mind, this is not the Scorpio edition. Scorpio edition was a very limited print run. There's only a handful of them. It's kind of like the day one edition of the original Xbox One. So... If you didn't get a pre-order, you won't get one. They're certainly not going to send one to a scrub like me. But this is the basic retail package of what it looks like on the outside. It kind of took a note from Apple here with the design. It's just pretty much a picture of what you get inside without a lot of buzzwords or anything else. Uh, yeah, boring box. So let's see what's inside. Okay, right here on top is apparently more codes. One for Xbox One Live Gold. Um, and I don't know how long that is for. Four. It doesn't say... I think it's one month, so that's pretty boring. One month of Game Pass as well, um, which, again, I think is probably the best thing about buying an Xbox One is the fact that there's a built-in games library that you can get Netflix-style. You still have to download them to the hard drive, so if you have a lot of trouble with data. Uh, but it's uh, literally 100-some games, so... Well, not bad. Glad to see that ships with the Xbox One X, because that is the Xbox's best feature. There is the console itself. Surprisingly more powerful than any console that was ever made, and yet is smaller than most of them. Smaller than the original Xbox One by quite a bit here. About the same size as an Xbox One X, or S. I mean, it doesn't look like much, uh, but it doesn't have to based on what's inside of it. It pretty much is the exact same shell, it seems like to me, as my Xbox One S. Of course, I have the Gears of War Edition one, so it looks a little different, obviously, but. Um, same ports as usual on the back. Doesn't seem like much, but it 
Doesn't have to as long as it's powerful on the inside and it's definitely that. Here is our cords. Looks like probably nothing special about this controller. I imagine the Scorpio edition has something inscribed on it, but I'm sure this is just going to be a basic black controller with batteries. Yep, exactly what it is. The latest version of the controller it doesn't look special in any way, but doesn't need to. And then your power cord. Uh, the power brick is now on the inside, which is probably the smartest thing they've ever done. So, yep, that is that is literally it for your money. Um, doesn't look like much, but then again, it doesn't have to, as long as this thing's the beast they promised it would be. So let's go find out. What we're going to do now is I'm going to transfer all of my games from my old Xbox to the X. And if you look here at the screen, here at the bottom left-hand corner, all storage, 94.3 gigabytes free. That means I almost have a terabyte of games. And if you were like me, you probably have an internet service provider that has a reasonable data cap for each month. Ours is a terabyte. But if I were to re-download all of these games, I would be screwed. So fortunately, the folks over at Xbox sent me this Seagate external hard drive branded with uh, uh, Xbox right on it. And I'm going to use this to dump all my games on it, and then I'll move them onto the Xbox One X and save all the data. And it should be a lot faster, so we're going to see if we can make that work. So it's now been about three days since I hooked up the Xbox One. Transferring the games and all the data was actually relatively quick and easy. And I was going to do like a quick little review or an impressions thing here uh, to add on to the end of the unboxing video. Unfortunately, I've only been able to play a handful of games in 4K because the patches are still coming for the November 7th launch day. So I feel right now it would be a bad time to post that kind of thing. I really don't want to do an impressions or a review of the device just yet, but that will be coming here up on the channel. I did also say uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I want to say a big thank you to the folks over at Xbox for sending me this so that I could review it and hopefully steer people in the right direction. Um, it is, it's a hell of a gift. It's a hell of an early Christmas gift. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I really appreciate it. I can't wait to talk to you guys more about it. Hopefully, we'll have a few more patches for games so that I can play them in 4K, so that I can play them in 60 frames per second and give you a real comparison to the PlayStation Pro uh, and, and the other things, even, of course, PC gaming. But I'm going to go ahead and let that wait because I feel like after just three days, I can't give it a fair impression. Here's what I will say. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, the experience between the 1S and the X Definitely an improvement so far, and most of the patches for the games aren't even there yet. So that said, guys, as always, look forward to that at the beginning of November. I will do it probably in a week or so. Uh, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. Thanks again for Xbox for sending out that console. And thank you guys for watching these videos so that Xbox feels like a desire to do that kind of thing. Because if it wasn't for you, there was no way they were going to send this to me for review. And I'm so grateful that they did. Thank you, Xbox. Uh, I'll speak with you guys again soon.